Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech, and these are the new official Apple silicone cases for summer 2021. Apple sort of surprised us and announced these out of nowhere and just made them available on their website. And as you can see, there's three new colors. Now, these are currently the only colors available, and it's only been released for the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, and 12 Pro Max. Unfortunately, they're not releasing colors for older iPhones. So you have to have the latest iPhone in order to use these, but you do have those different sizes available. Now they do come in at $49, just like all of their other silicone cases. And as you can see here, this is the new electric orange color. Now we knew a little bit about this from some of the Apple watch leaks and things when they released some updates to the Apple watch, this color was there, but we didn't see the case yet. So we did suspect something very soon. We also have a sunflower color as well as a cloud blue. So all of these are available now from Apple and they're $49 a piece. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each one of them. So I do have my iPhone 12 pro here so we can try them out with it. And let's go ahead and open the electric orange. So there are also complementing watch faces to go along with it. So this is the electric orange watch face. So let's go ahead and open this up. And inside, we'll just take a look at one of these as far as the paperwork that comes with it. But you can see it just talks about medical device since this does have a magnet in it. And if you do have something like a pacemaker, you want to keep this away from it. Let's go ahead and set this aside and take a look at the case. So it's wrapped like you would expect. And that's all there is to it. So we'll set this aside, the packaging and take a closer look. So this is the electric orange. Like I said, it matches the watch face here and let's put it on the phone. So you can see what it looks like with the blue and we'll set this aside and take a look at the next one. And then we'll take a closer look at the cases themselves. So we'll open up the sunflower case here. And again, the same paperwork and the same wrapping. There we go. And as you can see, it's what you would expect the sunflower case and then also cloud blue. So we'll open this one up. Now I think I like the cloud blue quite a bit as it's sort of a, a very bright or light blue rather. And we'll set all the packaging aside. So you can see the blue is very light and let's go ahead and put it on the 12 pro max. I'll put these cases on all of them. I think this one's going to match it best since we have a blue or a Pacific blue 12 pro this cloud blue goes nice with it. Now under this camera, it looks almost like it has a little bit of purple in it, but in person, it's just a nice light blue. And then also let me fit it into the sunflower case. Since many of you have asked me to make sure I, try on all of the phones. So again, if we go back here, you'll see here and let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. And like I said, there's complimentary watch faces to go along with each one of them. So depending on which one you're using. So you have all of those options as well. Now, as far as the case itself, it's basically what you would expect around the outside edge on the right. You have the power sleep wake button. You do have protection on the bottom, just like all of the MagSafe cases this year with the cutouts for the speaker and the microphone and your lightning port. And then also on the left hand side, you have your volume buttons along with a cutout for the silent switch on the top. There's nothing else on the back. You do have a plastic ring around the outside edge of the camera here to protect that. And then it's a silicone with microfiber inside. And as you can see, you've got the magnet ring for MagSafe. So if you have a MagSafe adapter or maybe an accessory for that, you can use that. Now I do have a MagSafe adapter. So if you have accessories, you can attach them magnetically and the magnets should be the same in the back of all of them also. So I have some magnet paper here. You can see where the magnets are. So if you have a wallet, that's what these lines are for here. So if you have a wallet, it aligns to that. So the magnets are the same as all of the other MagSafe cases we've had in the past. And if I bring this up here, you'll see that you can just see the magnets where they're at. And the same is true on the adapter. So you can see that here for the charging adapter. So again, you can charge and it definitely adheres better when you're using MagSafe with a MagSafe case. So if I adhere the MagSafe adapter to the back, 
it will charge and show you that it's charging. So it's nice to have that extra magnet to help it adhere a little bit better. If you don't use a case that has a MagSafe magnet in the back, it's not going to hold on as tight or charge as easily when it's connected to something because there's a little gap there. Now, as far as the overall case, well, it's just like you would expect. It has the microfiber lining on the inside to protect the case. They held up fairly well, unless you're putting them in jeans every day. Sometimes that will rub away the silicone. So you have to be aware of that. But as far as the overall case, these are some of the best cases as far as grip. After a couple of days, they become very grippy. And that may be a problem if you want to put them in a jean pocket, for example. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult to remove. And then also this color here on the new purple goes kind of nice with this, with the blue, the cloud blue with the new purple iPhone gives you an idea of what it looks like. So here's all three cases. And so that's basically what we expect from MagSafe cases. Now I would love to see them release more leather cases as well as additional cases for maybe some older iPhones, maybe have one every summer or something like that, but currently they don't have that. And again, you do have that lay on the table protection. If you want that and you're not using a screen protector, you will get a little bit of a lip here to protect against anything you may set it on, or you just want a little bit of a gap between your display and the table. You're good there. So that's it for the silicone cases. I like them a lot. And I think I'm going to use the cloud blue one on my 12 pro. I think that looks best as far as that goes, just kind of matches. And it looks very similar to what we have or complements the new iMac nicely. If you have a blue iMac, it's kind of got that same pastel look to it. But let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Did you pick up any of these new cases and which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.